Thanks to endless plays on MTV, by summer 83, there were 18 British singles in the American Top 40. Did you expect this sort of fantastic reception? No. The Rock Bible Rolling Stone magazine was forced to concede that this was the biggest British invasion since, well, the last one. It's reminiscent of the days when the Beatles took the United States by storm. In a lot of cases, I've actually been chased down the road by several screaming girls. But it wasn't to last. At the height of their career, fulfilling all their pop star ambitions, the constant touring was beginning to spoil the party for Adam and the Ants. And despite two consecutive number ones, the demise was both comic and entirely symbolic of the era. The beginning of the end took place in London's grand old Palladium Theatre, just four tube stops from where Adam and Marco first met. Your five-year-old face is a dirty disgrace. For Adam and the Ants, it pretty much culminates and post-punk culminates um, when they did the Children's Royal Variety. In true seaside tradition, sandwiched between husband and wife Ventac the Crankies and Rod Hull and his infuriating emu... It's Adam and the Ants! Adam and the Ants would take one final bow on behalf of all the Blitz dandies that had wanted to change the world five years previously in the basements of Soho nightclubs. I just thought this is another thing the enemy was going to disapprove of. Kevin Mooney's been mourning the loss of punk possibly more than most. Throws his bass guitar on the floor and continues to stand there while the five of them mime to the entire track. He just broke his strap and then started dancing and didn't know what to do. And you can see Adam being brilliant, you know, and being a star, but looking to his side going, jeez, you know, what's happening? And what's happening is punk is ending right there. We were making the statement of being there. We were sort of like desperately, desperately trying to bang as many nails into the coffin of punk as we possibly could. So it could never get out again. At the time Westminster Council started to clean up the area in 84, get rid of the sex shops, get tough on crime, all the groups associated with those early clubs had long turned into bona fide international...